all right so this is just gonna have to work i am sorry about lighting i'm trying to figure out what's the best place placement and how to utilize this tripod like i'm trying to get to my destination and i'm trying to deal with this and all right so this is just gonna have to work i apologize so I am officially on my way, or we are officially on our way to the prenatal appointment. It is so weird to, to be doing this again so soon. Sorry if I move my moves down because I got more in sickness. Like, that whole thing is starting over again, so I'm nauseous right now because I'm like doing too much. Doing a lot of lifting and stuff like that is really hard and really difficult. Hopefully, you guys can hear me. I know the camera's shaking, but I'm on a rough road. And last time I was doing a video like this and I was carrying it, it's like, oh my god, how is she driving the car or how is she doing this and or whatever. Like, I grew up in the south where it's very normal to drive with your legs i don't condone it i don't suggest it um i've been driving since i was 14 uh, 14 yeah like 14 and a half uh, i was just about to turn 15 when i got my first car that's a whole nother story but yeah i got my first car at 15 started driving at 14 and a half and when i say 15 driving i mean like on my own a whole car totally illegal shouldn't have been doing it but it was in a situation where i had to get school we had a new house my mom my dad couldn't take me my mom and dad were separated uh my dad couldn't take me to school he gave me like some quick um driving lesson was like you have to get to school and he didn't want to take me out of school because then i would have failed for transferring because it was around FCAT time and all that. So he was like, here you go, here's a car. Like, let's pray <laughs> that you make it to school safely. And it wasn't like my school was even local to where we had moved to. Like I'm talking about jumping on the highway for 30 minutes 40 like the school was maybe about a 40 minute drive like it wasn't close at all to be a new driver but i made it i did it and so i've been driving for 15 years yeah so um i say all that to basically say like i i i become very comfortable in the movers where i drive so there's no excuse i don't condone it but i'm gonna do me so you know i don't do it when nala is with me um at least i never noticed me doing it no uh, no i don't know especially with me having this car so anyway i basically say all that to basically say that I'm trying to not hold on to the camera and drive and all this stuff because first of all, of all it is safer it is more convenient but I have noticed like audio is a little bit more annoying or um, like the road situation is a little bit more annoying so whatever but Nala sleep which is a good thing because she is teething so she is fussy and David's gonna meet me at the appointment and it's so it's gonna be so weird because the last time I was here was at my six week checkup and that was the last time I saw like the girls which is ladies at the front desk they're subscribers to my channel what up girls if you watch this um it's gonna be weird because they're gonna be the ones to first find out like why I'm here and that I am pregnant and I can't really lie to them because they can't find out like I'm pretty sure I know confidentiality and all that stuff but I'm pretty sure they can find out and plus they're gonna be right there to ask me why I'm here 
because I was just here and I was there four months ago. It's not quite time for my next checkup. So they'll be like, girl, I just seen you. And I'm just gonna tell them. Anyway, it's 12.08. We are probably another 30 minutes away, maybe. I don't know. So hopefully get there soon. But like I said, it is uh, very weird to be doing this. I know what my doctor is gonna say. Should have took the birth control. She's right. But we here. There's a baby coming. And at this point, even though I go through my moody moments of can we do this? Like I don't regret it. It's like it is what it is. And the baby is coming. And we just gonna have to put on our dog panties and drawers and just do the darn thing. We're not the only one that's been through this, so it won't be the last. Didn't take no time. <laughs> <laughs> it's a baby. There's only one in there. Woo! Oh, thank God. <laughs> it's only one baby. That's the baby. You can't get a happy yet. My machine can pick it up, alright? One fifty eight. There's a heartbeat. There's a heartbeat. See the flicker? Yeah, okay. That's it. That's crazy. That's the upside. Oh, it's real. Yeah. I didn't expect that you were going to be that big yet. <laughs> it's measuring perfect with your last menstrual period. So, how, technically, how far? What You're eight weeks, two days today. Eight weeks, two days. Two months. So, so your due date's gonna be three seven. We're not gonna change that. Dang. Okay. When was she born? <laughs> Her due date was three eight. eight. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. So it would be about the same. Yes. That's crazy. She came in February seventeenth. So there, it'll be Irish twins. Yeah, yeah, Irish Irish twins. twins. Yes. Oh gosh. Hey, hey, so Nala, you were just here, you were just here a little over a year ago, and you were in your mama's belly, yes you were, you were in your mama's belly, and now we're here for either your sister or your brother. Oh, how cute. <laughs> yeah. Hi, big girl. Say hey. You're so cute. Say hey. Hi. <laughs> oh, my goodness. She's like, I don't know her, <laughs> so I'm not going to talk to her. Oh, look at those arms. Mm hmm. Still like What's her name? Nala. Hi, Miss Nala. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. And look at your sandals. <laughs> <laughs> Walk well, then, everybody still remember me. I was like, dang, we are here way too soon. Everybody still knows us. So. <laughs> but at least it feels comfortable and familiar. And at least Nala gets to meet everybody now. They see you now. Five months now. Ain't that right? So it's official. You definitely have a brother or sister coming. Mm -hmm. Oh, you definitely have a little sibling. <laughs> she ain't feeling it. She said, "Why?" <laughs> she ain't feeling it. Last time we could just sit here, and now we gotta pay attention to her. <laughs> you are moving today. I know. So, yeah, I'm starting to feel more nauseous. But... Okay. All right. <laughs> There you go. Do the do the do the uh, mouth. That mouth thing you just did. <laughs> that face. <laughs> Back at it again. Back at it again. I got my wardrobe on. I know these things all too well. I'm glad I ain't throwing my labor dress because 
No sir. No man. No, All over again. Oh, yes. <laughs> I know this position all too well, so I'm gonna get situated and we'll probably just update you guys after something like that. That's all right. the best way we can do it. Now the baby is asleep. Alright, so I don't really remember where we last kind of left off from. It's obviously uh, been a quite a few hours since we last connected with you guys uh, because it's time to wash off my makeup and you know you guys not really feeling too good as predicted but um, all in all today was a reality check I don't know how it's gonna be moving forward with being able to record appointments and stuff like that you know, we always gonna do our best into getting a foot like we did before with baby Nala. But for me, it was that reality check like, dang, I'm actually pregnant. And we got to see the baby's heartbeat, as you can see. I think David caught some, but the lady wasn't really happy about, you know, Record. recording. But this is kind of what, what he or she is looking like. So it's definitely a nugget in there with a heartbeat, as you can see. So we are definitely back on this journey. It felt familiar. Yeah. <laughs> it was. It felt like, hey, I just seen y'all six weeks, six weeks ago or something like that. It What's going on? It kind of felt <laughs> like we was oddly from outside looking in, getting a lot of attention. Mm-hmm. And everybody knew us still yeah it was like <laughs> moments where i would see like everyone turned around talking to us and i was like like <laughs> that was kind of weird and then even like other patients was looking like why is everyone giving them so much attention like yeah so it felt good yeah it did feel good it felt welcoming it felt comfortable yeah like we didn't have those the same feelings that we had like when we were there the first time mm-hmm this time it just felt like, all right, yeah, we're veterans at this. We know the routine. Mm-hmm. So even the doctor didn't even do too bad. No, she is pretty good. Yeah. Um, yeah but everybody I know, was pretty happy that I we know were that, there. So we are on this road. I think it's going to go by a lot faster. It's going to go by a lot faster because we already know what to expect. Yeah. We and we're kind of like on the same exact timeline as last, last year. So. Mm -hmm. And then I think last time we were so anxious for yeah, her. It was the first, first yeah, baby. Yeah, first baby. But now it's like, we ain't rushing. We chilling. Like, we gonna utilize this time while we can when it's just one baby. And now we about to be a family of four. Full house, though. Four. <laughs> we can start putting those little people on the back of our car. Mm -hmm. Well, I already <laughs> got the baby on board, so you got it. <laughs> you you do that on your car. <laughs> we are pregnant with baby number two, and we about to do it again. So, might as well put your seatbelts on and let's go again. We're growing. Yeah. Literally. Yeah. Just say free black young, free young. Lady Woods and morning. R.I.P. your mama.